Hey guys, it's Tim with PT Progress, and I, I just couldn't wait to go home to uh, record the video, so I pulled into a parking lot and I hit record because a lot of you are on your way to physical therapy school interviews right now, and you're trying to make a decision between one school and another, and so I've got some tips and advice for you because a lot of these programs, they're not going to talk about this aspect uh, and advice, so I want to give you some advice that you're not going to really hear at too many places. So if I were to do all of this again, I wish someone would tell me this same advice. Go to a school that you can afford. You wouldn't pull into a parking lot to buy a car that you couldn't afford, would you? You wouldn't pull into a real estate agent's office and say, hey, let's go to this, this neighborhood and purchase this house that I can't afford. Why, why are we doing this with schools as well? And I know graduate school, like physical therapy school, is very expensive, but there are affordable options. So my first piece of advice to you is to take the finances seriously. If you're looking at a private university that is super expensive, there's nothing wrong with an expensive school if you can afford it. Don't look at the school as a golden ticket to pass your boards, as a golden ticket to become the best physical therapist in the world. That's up to you. That's up to you and how much time you're you're willing to spend every evening studying. Uh, that's up to you and how much time you're, you're putting into your practical exams. It's not about the tuition. So step back, consider finances as a huge component of this. Now, if you've saved some money, if, you're co if your parents may have a, a 529 plan or college savings plan, or you have other resources that are helping to pay for school, that's fine, that's great. I, I, I think that's awesome. And if you can afford those expensive schools, fine. That, there's nothing wrong with spending money on that, but do not consider a school affordable just because they will lend you money to attend that school. Student loans, those student loans are not income. It doesn't mean it's affordable. It means it could be a potentially horrible situation for you three years down the road when you're paying off $150,000 of student loans. That should never be the case for physical therapy students. And I really wanna get this out there that you do not, you should not take out $150,000. More than $100,000 for PT school is absurd. Ideally, you would keep that between seventy-five dollars and $100,000 of all student loans. And that includes living expenses, room and board, and tuition. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. It may require you to go to a state school or to a private school that's not as expensive, or it may require you to find other resources like get a job before um, you go to PT school. Maybe you work an entire year and you've saved thirty dollars or $40,000 and the tuition at the expensive school is $120,000 and you're able to put $40,000 down. And those numbers may seem absolutely crazy, but those are real dollars. What makes you think that in, in three years, saving $40,000 is gonna be a lot easier than doing it right now because it's not going to be. Uh, with your physical therapist salary, and you can see a video on how much a physical therapist makes, um, yes, you can pay your student loans even if they are a very high payment, but it's going to consume your life to pay down $150,000 for the next 10 years, five years after PT school. It's absurd. And so if you are able to consider finances before going to school, save some money, then you can afford the private school, wonderful. But if you can't do that, then go to a state school, make the most of it. Spend every evening studying, practicing your practical exams, and you're gonna end up being a wonderful physical therapist because you put the work in. Not because some school is listed on your diploma, that has very little to do with what success you'll have as a physical therapist. Okay, so I've ranted enough about finances. Forgive me, but I think it's a very important topic to cover and you'll hear me talk about this more on the channel. But the second thing I wanna tell you about is contacting the schools that give you an offer of acceptance and asking them for an extension. A lot of times you'll see that uh, they'll offer you um, a seat at the program, but you have to respond within two weeks. And you may have interviews still at other places. You can certainly call the admissions team or email them or uh, write them, whatever. If you're still writing letters, that may take a little longer. Email them or call them and ask for an extension. You can just simply ask, are you able to extend that by 30 or 60 days? The worst they can say is no, you already got accepted. It doesn't matter, just ask them. And that gives you the option to, of course, go to your other interviews 
and to rank another school as a higher or lower and make a, a really good sound decisions. So don't be afraid to ask for an extension if and when you get your physical therapy school acceptance letter. And the final tip that I have for you has to do with first impressions. So some of you may still have some interviews, which is great. Get out there and make a great first impression and you'll do that in a few ways. And it happens before the handshake, before you introduce yourself. They are watching these students as they come in. The, the front office workers, the people on the staff, admissions team they are all seeing these students come in so when you're sitting down in the lobby it's okay to have a conversation it's okay to smile and look at them in the eyes and, and drop some conversation as a physical therapist you need to have that those communication skills you don't have to be an extroverted person but you can smile and be nice and look like you enjoy being there even though you might be nervous out of your shoes you can just still smile and um, not hide away in a corner just try to be friendly with people. So making a first impression when you first walk into the school is going to be really important, but also when you go to sit down and you chat with the uh, the people across the seat from you, because it's going to be intimidating. They're going to, they're probably going to be in suits. If they're not in suits, they're going to be uh, quite a bit older than you most of the time. And, and they have a lot more experience. And so here you are trying to convince them that you want to be in their shoes as a physical therapist. Uh, that's intimidating. And so take a few deep breaths and just realize those people were sitting in your shoes 10 to 15 years ago, and they want you to succeed, and they want the best for the students in their program, and they want to make sure it's a good fit for you. So the interview goes both ways. So use this time as an opportunity to figure out if this is a school that you really want to go to. You are interviewing them just as much as they are interviewing you. Come prepared with some questions. Uh, make sure that you research that school and what's going on. Try to figure out behind the scenes what's been happening in terms of uh, their program growth and trajectory, where are they going, uh, and have some of the questions uh, that we list in the physical therapy school interview guide in your back pocket so that you can just walk right in, have a few questions that are unique to you, questions that matter to you, and that will help you make a good decision when you finally decide on which PT school to go to. So those are a few quick tips. I wish the very best for all of you who are interviewing right now. If you have questions for me, just leave them in the comments. And if you get into PT school, I would love to celebrate with you. Just let us know in the comments and we'll all cheer you on. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified every time we have a video that's helpful. And I will see you in another video.